This will be an overview of ventilator frequency. I'm just going to change the color here. There we go. To frequency. So other known as respiratory rate, and I'm specifically talking about the set frequency. Something the operator actually sets. So I'm not talking I'm going to be talking about uh, frequency breathing. So this includes all breaths, ventilator, patient trigger, or falsely triggered breaths. Example by leaks or anything else. So frequency is usually, I'm just going to clear the page, frequency is usually a set point. What I mean is a set point, there's an actual setting on the ventilator that you set the frequency. So it could be called respiratory rate, or it could be a little circle and it just has an F over it or whatever for frequency. And a common adult respiratory rate is 12. So it's a, it's a common setting. The operator sets it. However, on some older ventilators, um, some, or some MRI ventilators, here's an example of a infant ventilator. This is the baby log. And I do not see, I don't see a knob on here. I don't see any circle or knob that actually says frequency. So I'm setting an inspiratory and expiratory time. And when I set that, that actually controls my frequency. And I already went over this in a couple other videos when I talked about inspiratory time and expiratory time and total cycle time. So I'm not really going to get into it. However, we can see there's a lot of components that actually affect frequency. So when I change my frequency, if I change my frequency, it can influence many things. It can influence my total cycle time. It can influence my inspiratory time. It can definitely affect my expiratory time. And then it can even affect my IE ratio. I'm going to give examples. So here's a ventilator screen. And as you notice, this is the settings window right over here. I'm going to highlight it in yellow. And we have a set respiratory rate. So there's our set frequency. So I interchange respiratory rate or rate with frequency. So as long as that's set, it's going to change these values over here. So I have an inspiratory time. my expiratory time, my IE ratio. And that's all based on my frequency and then my other time, my other operator set point is uh, inspiratory time percent of 33%. So when I change this frequency, it's going to change my inspiratory time and my expiratory time and even my IE ratio. And we can look at this if you had a ventilator and if you increased or if you decrease the respiratory rate or the frequency you'll see these changes act out over here in the smart window. Another example is we can use my cheat sheet and we can look at my cheat sheet just shows you mathematically that if I change my frequency it's going to change um, different variables. So if we look at my cheat sheet I'm just going to change my color here to blue that kind of stands out against this orange. If I set at a set rate, here's my rate over in the far left hand corner of 10. So there's 10 and I move it over and I have a set IE ratio or set inspiratory time percent of 30%. If I change that respiratory rate to say 12, I increase it to 12. You notice what it does. It's changing my inspiratory time and that's my inspiratory time there. It went from a value of approximately 1.3 seconds to 1.5 seconds. Wait, no, that's wrong. Sorry. It's hard to see. That's actually 1.8 seconds to 1.5. And that's changed in my total cycle time also. And if I have a fixed inspiratory time, it's going to change my IE ratio, vice versa. So it's kind of neat how frequency or changing a frequency how much is involved in the inner workings of the ventilator, what's changing, my ratio, my inspiratory time, my expiratory time.
and that's all.